I'm Brian Myers, Solution Sales Director for the Workforce Management Practice here at Healthcare IT Leaders. I have almost 30 years working in the workforce management industry. And in that time, I've seen a lot of workforce management projects led by various teams, projects that were wildly successful and some that were plagued with issues. I've learned what a successful workforce management effort takes, and I consult with my clients to make sure their workforce management project meets their goals. So today we're gonna to talk about migrating from Workforce Central to UKG Dimensions. And before we get into it, I wanna set the stage. Uh, Workforce Central reaches end of life, December 31st, 2025, if your system is hosted in the UKG Cloud. And March 31st, 2027, if you have Workforce Central on-premise. But the important thing to note for on-premise clients is that end of engineering is still December 31st, 2025. So ideally, you should make plans to get off Workforce Central by then. Now I'm going to go over six different topics related to migrating from Workforce Central to Dimensions. The key benefits and advantages of migrating from Workforce Central to UKG Dimensions, ultimately Dimensions is designed to help unburden your staff related to the time it takes to manage timesheets and schedules. So you get in, you quickly get the information you need, take the actions you need to take, and you get out. Uh, and it does that by being very accessible. Uh, Dimensions has a much more modern, intuitive user experience that's available from any device. So there's no more limitations on what you can do on a mobile device. Um, and then the reporting and analytics are a lot more powerful. Um, the analytics capabilities uh, take the form of metrics and KPIs that are embedded into the solution. Um, and there's also um, an available module called the uh, Dimensions Data Hub that can provide access to back-end data for more powerful dashboarding and reporting that's meant for finance and executive audiences. Dimensions handles data migration from Workforce Central um, by making a tool available to certified partners that can help move uh, a good portion of the configuration from legacy uh, Workforce Central databases. Uh, but it's important to note that it does not migrate time card or schedule history. So you will have to have a plan to archive your existing Workforce Central database for historical reporting. Um, that tool for most modules, it moves a, a majority of the configuration. Advanced scheduling is one area where less configuration can be moved. So if you're using that module, uh, that's where a bulk of your migration effort will be. So in terms of whether Dimensions supports your existing UKG Timekeeper terminals or not, um, there's, there's a few things to consider. Uh, there are two major series of Timekeeper terminals. There's the in-touch terminals, which are the newer touchscreen models, like the 9000, uh, 9100, and in-touch DX, that are all compatible, um, but they might require a firmware update to be compatible with Dimensions. Um, the 4500 series are the older terminals, and they're mostly compatible with the exception of very early 4500s. Um, again, they might require a firmware update. So to determine if your Timekeeper terminals are compatible and if they're on the right level of firmware, um, you can actually see that within Workforce Device Manager. However, Workforce Device Manager requires that you pull it up on a clock by clock basis. So if you have a lot of terminals, that's, that might not be feasible. Um, but there is a SQL query that's available that can be run to output the information into a CSV file. Um, but what I'd recommend is that you ask your UKG sales uh, executive to run a migration compatibility report. Those are That report is going to tell you which terminals are compatible, which are not, and which need firmware updates. Uh, it'll also give you a lot of other information that's going to be relevant uh, to, uh, to scoping out and understanding the extent of the migration. Uh, dimensions has a few ways to support compliance with labor laws and regulations. Um, there is a rule profile associated with things like FLSA laws, regulations, um, special rules in California. Um, there's also um, other areas of the solution that support compliance, like attestation. Uh, attestation supports compliance with meal breaks, for example. Uh, can even go so far as to, uh, to even stop an employee from clocking back in early from a meal. Um, now, one of the areas that's not in Workforce Central that you'll find new in Dimensions is the Compliance Auditor. Um, and what that looks at is, is things like, for example, punch deletions, uh, punch additions, um, adding time, removing time, editing employee time. Um, 
it has the, the ability to measure and visualize those unwanted behaviors that might be it might happen from uh, your your folks doing timekeeping. Uh, so, for example, it could identify if you have a time uh, sheet editor that had a lot of edits, like removing a minute from punches to keep their team from going into overtime, things like that. That obviously you wouldn't want to have happen. Um, and having those visualizations and data views are huge for compliance and something new within UKG Dimensions. Next, I'll talk about the training and support options that are available during and after the migration process. Um, you know, the first thing I want to touch on is, is just the overall importance of user adoption. Um, adopting this, the solution is key to um, not only compliance and making sure your employees are paid correctly, uh, but it can help drive down your labor costs. Um, so let's start with UKG's knowledge map, which is a, an online uh, repository uh, for training that can be used for, for two major uh, things. And one is uh, internal project team training. That's where you'll go to train your system analysts or even your payroll users. Um, and then Knowledge Map also has training modules that can be used for end users. Um, and those training modules can be pieced together into a learning path that is specific to how your system is, is configured and what uh, areas of the solution those end users will have access to. Uh, but keep in mind, examples shown in Knowledge Map training modules are not, not specific to your industry or your configuration. Uh, due to that, partners like us uh, can create education materials that are more customized to your actual operational use and configuration that use your client-specific examples and screenshots, and that helps ensure end users find the training more relevant. Um, another popular option has been customized web-based training. Uh, that allows end users more flexibility as to when training it takes place. And lastly, in, in terms of user adoption, uh, I want to address change management. Because adoption of the solution, as I mentioned before, has a huge bearing on paying your employees correctly, as well as your ability to influence efficient use of resources or even drive labor costs down. So don't skimp on change management. Um, and an effective change management program prepares, equips, and supports individuals in making that change that's just going to help the organization be more successful. In terms of best practices or tips to ensure a smooth and successful migration to UKG Dimensions, my suggestion would be to first decide your path. Uh, there's two major paths that you can take in getting to Dimensions. One is what I, what I like to refer to as a straight migration to UKG Dimensions. So that's moving your existing configuration and Workforce Central as much as possible into Dimensions. The other path is what I would like to call an optimized migration, where you're looking at your workforce management processes, you're looking at how the solution is going to support them, and you're configuring an optimized UKG Dimensions solution, maybe even approaching it as net new. Now, keep in mind that if you go the first path and do a straight migration, that migration can still include a cleanup of old configuration or unused configuration when you move to UKG Dimensions. And optimization could be um, you know, scheduled as a phase two, uh, depending on your business priorities. Um, another tip that I would give is, is to really make sure that the consulting partner that you choose will spend time with you to ensure there's a full understanding of the business structure. Uh, business structure is foundational to the build of UKG Dimensions, and the setup has downstream impacts on how advanced scheduling is set up, how security is set up, and how you can report on data. So it's really important to take each one of these things into consideration when you're designing a business structure that's right for your organization. And the last piece of advice that I would give is to act now. As the deadline for end of engineering uh, which again is December 31st, 2025, draws closer, UKG services delivery partners will face a high demand for Dimension Certified Consultants. So starting now is going to get you in the queue to secure the certified talent required to perform a migration and help you ensure success. Mm -hmm.